Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil and this is our 10th video. So till now we see uh, about the resto module, like how we can add the restaurant, how we can delete, how we can add it, how we can show the list and all. But in this video, we are just going to start about the login and registration. So specifically in this video, what we are going to do, let's check out the points first of all. So we will make a view first of all and then we have to make a registration uh, router and controller for it and we will make a form and uh, after that we have to make a route for submit this form and uh, make a controller function here we can just uh, uh, sync our form with the database also so now let's start with the first point so let's make a registration view first of all so for that let's collapse first of all our form and uh, just click on our resources views and make a new view with the name of register dot plate dot php all right and we can just hit the enter and uh, here as you know we are just uh, inheriting the layout dot blade dot php because we have a uh, settled here header navigation bar and footer and everything so we can just copy the home from here so that we can also extend the layout page and everything so let's make a register, uh, registration page and here we can just write here register new user all right something like this so after doing this we need to make a router for it so let's go on a web.php file and here we can make a router so obviously we have to just show only the view here so that we can just make a view method and it will we will pass here register this is the route name and this is our blade template all right right um actually i just need to make a spell correct for it just write here register and register here also all right so now let's try to access this with the registered route uh, let's go here and we can directly put here okay that's my bad but actually put here register we can just write here and uh, we have to make here a semicolon also yep now let's see now we can you can see that we are able to access the register page all right so now let's make a form here all right so before going to make the form here we can just copy some field from add uh, dot blade dot php because we already applied here bootstrap and all and it will help us a lot all right so that we don't need to put here uh, many things like uh, bootstrap classes and all manually all right so just completely copy this form here and we can just make it paste all right i will sh tell you what is the csrf csrf and everything about the method and post so i can just uh, separate for a moment put the separate for the moment and uh, now let's uh, define some more field like address oh sorry it's not address like email address and uh, then password and then let's say contact number right so we have to change the name naming thing also so like we can just make it a uh, email so we can just make it right email and email and name will be email also now password and the type of the password should be the password so that we can show the stars or dots here all right then the name is will be password and placeholder is like enter password and at the last we have to make it contact all right name can be also contact and let's write as a placeholder right enter contact number number perfect so now let's see what we achieved here okay nice this is looking nice so on the submit we can just make it a register like this so beautiful all right so after doing this we have to just send this request to a router so that we have to make a router and the controller name also so now let's go in the web.php 
and just make a router obviously we have a form and the form we will submit in a post request so let's make a post method and it can be register all right mm. why it can be registered is, is it possible that two uh, request can be the same name yes they can be the same name in the two uh, routers because the method are the different for both of them all right and now we can use the controller name same resto controller and the function name we will define a function with the name of register like this perfect so now let's go inside the resto controller and let's define here function register all right so this function will be accepting the request from the form that's why the parameter should be the request type and the parameter name can be a request or anything whatever you want and now just return here dollar request and input and let's see what we are getting here so what do you think uh, now uh, okay so two more things we have to do here one is uh, we can just uh, make a registration link here so let's go in the layout page uh, where is the layout page here so just right here register alright so it should behave like a register now perfect alright so after that the second thing is that we have to provide the let's remove the uh, we have to provide the method name here so let's provide the method method will be the post when we submitting the form and action action is similar to your uh, uh, route so let's make it here like this register so now what do you think this form will be working fine actually not there is something missing I will tell you whenever we are just sub submitting the form you will get a error like 419 so let's say my contact number is 1234 whenever I am just going to submit okay this is sending the get request it should not be done let me check what's the wrong with it mm -mm. let's I think I did not refresh this page so let's try once again now you can see that this is the post request the before that actually I was not refresh the page so now you can see that there is a 419 issue why this is coming from because this is the uh, coming from the CSRF token the CSRF token will you prevent or provide the security to your website so that no unauthenticated person can send you the request all right so that's why we have to add here CSRF token like this so inside the form just simply write here at the rate CSRF simply all right and now let's come back here just click on it when you just want to inspect your things form then you will find there is a mm -mm. Now you can see that there is a text field and it have a token also. So this is our CSRF token. So basically this is the hidden form. That's why we are not able to see it. But this is the unreal name and let's make a context number 1234. Now try to submit it. Now you are, we are able to submit this form. Here you can see that the token, name, email address, everything is here. So that's the thing that how we can just submit this form. In the upcoming video we will see that how we can send this data to our database also so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care